Hey Capricorns, it's Sahara Stars with the Loom Astrology doing your July 2018 Astro Weather Forecast. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Wow, July is going to be a big month, huge month, awesome month. Um, 2018 has been a huge year of transformation for all of us. Um, if you look back since January until now, I bet you there's been a lot of transformation occurring this year. It's really the year of transformation. Um, we have had two aspects, the Pluto-Jupiter sextile aspects happening this year, and we have our final one coming in September, and Pluto-Jupiter is all about big transformation. So this month is going to be ongoing. We are in retrograde season, and we are also beginning eclipse season. So this is even more transformation, more and more and more transformation. So... Let's see, where should we begin? I guess I'll start with Mars retrograde. How's that? Mars is retrograding in the sign of Aquarius. Mars retrograde is very much so the art of war. It's strategic planning. Mars is a planet of war. It's a warrior mentality. It gives us courage, tenacity, follow through. Um, it's fearless. And it's a big... Uh, planet that's used in manifestation uh, because in order to manifest whatever it is we desire we got to take confident action believe in it and Mars is very much so like that it gives us the courage determination and the follow-through so when Mars is retrograde we are introspective as a fa matter of fact it's the same with all planets when they're retrograding we're more introspective we're rethinking our steps Retrograde is all about planning, redoing, revisiting. So things from the past come back, opportunities from the past come back. We reflect more, we think more about how, you know, what our goals are and how to obtain them. And this is especially true with Mars. Mars is uh, in retrograde motion is awesome for strategic planning, for thinking about what it is that you really want to accomplish in your life and then making a plan. And then when Mars turns direct, you're going to be taking um, strategic action, meaning you have a well thought, thought out plan and all you have to do is follow through and do it with the courage and belief in yourself that you can do it when Mars turns direct. So Mars retrograding in the sign of Aquarius has been occupying your guys' second house of earned income, money, self-value, how you value yourself. Um... And what you think you're worth in terms of you running your own business, all of that stuff. It's what you own and also what you acquire. So Mars retrograde here will make you reassess how you make your money. Some of you could be thinking about leaving a job. Some of you could be wanting more money. Some of you could be thinking about starting a new business, a new job. Um, you're going to get that spark of energy in your second house of earned income, what you own, and your resources. So with Mars Retrograde, it's an awesome time to rethink this, to think about how much money you want to make, make your goals, make your plan on how to do it. And then when Mars turns direct um, in August, August 27th, Mar Mars will turn direct in your sign, um, you can put these plans into action and you will obtain your goals. Now, the big news and the positive news is Jupiter, the planet of luck, abundance, and fortune is finally going to be moving direct motion again. Uh, it's been retrograde since uh, March 8th, um, and it's finally going direct July 10th, and thank goodness for this because now we're going to feel more optimistic, more abundant, and luck is going to just fall in our laps and things just start working out in our favor. Jupiter is a benefactor planet, which means that you don't really have to do a whole lot in order to get the benefits. Thank goodness we have some of those. Venus is another one. Saturn makes you work hard for everything you got. You're being, you being Saturn ruled, you know what that's like. It's about being conservative, modest, you know, pragmatic, serious. You know, a lot of you are very mature uh, early on, took on a lot of responsibility. Whatever it is, Saturn is all about those things. Now, Saturn has been transiting your sign along with Pluto. So there's definitely a lot of transformation going on for you guys. You guys are in a rebuilding stage of finding out who are you really? What is it you really want in your life? How are you going to go about doing this? Now, Saturn can put a lot of pressure on you because Saturn is serious, but he is your ruler. So he's easier for you guys to work with. 
So Jupiter going direct is going to be really positive for you guys because it's in your 11th house of friends, groups, and hopes and wishes. Now, this is anything that you want. You really, really want heart and soul. You have a chance to get it while Jupiter is transiting your 11th house. And a lot of your help is going to come through friends. A lot of it's going to be part of a group, part of your association, part of your networks. The problem is that Saturn can make you feel like blocking yourself off, separating yourself, being a little bit more serious, sometimes feeling tired and fatigued. It all depends at what degree Saturn is in your sign and where your sun sign is. Because for some of you, it hasn't actually quite hit your sun sign. Um, and for others of you, it already has. So it's going to be different for all of you without a personal reading with your own specific birth time. I cannot tell you specifically when or what's going to happen with you because based on your birth time, you all have different houses and you all have different planets in different houses. But the general gist of it and theme is that Saturn makes you more serious, puts a little pressure on you about figuring things out. Um, you also have Pluto in your sign. So some of you are experiencing deep transformations, inner turmoil, facing up to who you are. Pluto likes to dig deep, expose. Um, he can sometimes, you know, he's got a shadow side where he can um, really bring you through the dark night of the soul. This all depends on what degree your sun sign is. But there are a lot of ways to work through it, get through it, and find out the positive and work with the planets in their positive way. I do have astro coaching in terms of these types of things for anyone going through something like this. Um, but Pluto is about transformation. So you will be going through major transformation. And Saturn is about restructuring, being serious, being conservative, um, you know, feeling more mature, all of this stuff. So it'll be different for all of you. Um, but Jupiter in your 11th house of hopes and wishes and friends is really good for networking, expanding your network, getting help from friends, friends being supportive of you and with you. Try not to block yourself off or separate yourself too much with Saturn. Mars is reevaluating your financial structures, how you make your money, how much you're worth, what you think you're worth. You know, some of you might want more money. Some of you might want more free time and can take less money, whatever it is. You're going to be figuring out a lot. A lot of you guys are going through major transformations, especially with Pluto and Saturn in your sign. Neptune has been transiting your third house of the mind, which is really good for optimism, being, pos uh, being very positive, creative endeavors, being really creative in the mind. Uh, you have tend to be uh, very fantastical in your thinking process, um, which is very helpful. And it can help you uh, be more compassionate, more sensitive, psychic even. Um, it all depends on how that's been going, but that's going to be there for a very long time. Neptune transits are very long, like Pluto transits. Uh, Pluto's been in your sign for quite a while now. I think it's been since 2008, just offhand. So it's been there for quite a while. Now, Mercury and Venus are currently in Leo which is in your eighth house of other people's money, resources, taxes, credit cards, and all of that. So money should have been a little bit, you know, money should have improved a bit for you guys um, for the month of June. Um, but now on the 9th, Venus is going to tra change signs uh, into Virgo, which is going to be your ninth house of tra um, long distance travel. I apologize. I've been doing a few of these all day. I'm getting a little bit brain frozen. Um, Venus is going to be moving into your ninth house of long distance travel, um, all things foreign, exploration, seeking answers, uh, higher learning, going back to school, uh, you know, searching for answers on the internet, through research, whatever. It's just that you really want to expand your mind, expand your learning. So some of you could be learning a new subject, changing careers entirely based on what it is that you decide to learn. Some of you are going back to school to try to figure, to change paths or courses, especially with Pluto and Saturn, both in your sign of transformation and figuring out who you are. Um, so come the 9th, Venus will be transiting this house, so some of you could be traveling as well. It's the house of travel, um, but learning, learning and expanding, going back to school. Some of you will join, uh, take a new course, all of that stuff. The big, big, big news besides Jupiter moving direct on the 10th, which is very positive. Things are going to start moving forward a little bit more, even though Mars is retrograde, Saturn's retrograde, and Pluto's retrograde. But on the 12th, there's a new moon in Cancer. That's your opposite sign, your seventh house of partnerships, relationships. Um, and this can be business partnerships, 
but also love relationships and marriage, but also close partnerships. Um, there's going to be a new moon there. And new moons are endings and beginnings. So some of you that may have been in an unhealthy relationship, you might decide to get out of it or an unhealthy partnership. And that's also true because there's also a partial solar eclipse on that day and it's opposing Pluto. So any kind of red strings attached to any relationships you have where you feel like you've been giving away your power, or you've been under someone's control or vice versa, um, they can let go of you or you can let go of them. Whatever is going to happen, you could change partnerships. You can decide to let go of this partnership when it comes to a business partnership. Um, if you're not happy in your relationship, your relationship relationship can end. Um, but also for those of you that are looking for a relationship, this can be really beneficial because it puts in a ton of new energy and opens up new doors for you in terms of partnerships, relationships, love, and marriage. Some of you could be getting married as well just because new moons and eclipses bring about this, especially with this new eclipse opposing Pluto. Now, the fortunate thing is on this day, there's a grand trine between Saturn, Uranus, and Venus. And this is very positive. A grand trine brings uh, is fluid energy, compatible energy between the planets. They bring about luck and fortune. And being that it's with Venus that's going to be in your um, ninth house of expansion, travel, higher learning, foreign things, all that stuff. And Saturn is in your sign. And then we have Uranus in Taurus, which is in your fourth house of home. So you could get some positive news about home, so, uh, positive news about, um, you know, regarding you and also positive news regarding travel or anything like that. Now, it's just a really positive day in general just to do anything you want. Uh, if you're looking for a job, if you want to, you know, go associate with friends or whatever it is, it's a very, very positive day to try to get some positive movement forward. So Venus is going to change signs on the 9th. We have the new moon, the eclipse, and the grand trine all on the 12th. We are also going to have um, a total lunar eclipse blood moon on the 27th in the sign of Aquarius. And this is in your second house of money again. So you guys are going to have a lot going on in your second house of money. I want you to also listen to your ascendant sign. If you don't know what that is, you can go to www.astro.com. Um, create a profile, put in your birth information, and pull up your birth chart because your ascendant and your sun sign will both be affected, meaning both transits to both houses will be effect, um, affected equally. So it's very important that you listen to both to get the full picture of what you can expect. Okay, so this eclipse happening in Aquarius is your second house of money. This is a major, major, major transformation in how you earn your income. Now, some of you can find out about a large amount of money. Some of you might find out you owe a large, large amount of money. If you have any outstanding bills and stuff that you haven't been taken care of, they can come to a head because it's all about closing out and starting new. Eclipses are about ending old cycles and beginning new cycles. So having Mars retrograde here, you rethinking your strategy, trying to come up with a new way to make money. Some of you are thinking about leaving your job and trying to make more money. Some of you are, you know, you want to start a new business and make money. And then this eclipse is going to really trigger it. And you guys are going to have a strong focus put into that area about how much are you really worth? You know, are you valuing yourself enough? Are you getting what you deserve financially? Um, you know, what is it that you want? The things that you want to accomplish and buy and acquire, all that stuff is going to be triggered. Um, on the 12th and also on the 27th so there's a big focus for that for for money uh, for you guys and what you're gonna do along with travel and learning something new expanding your horizons um, your friendship groups associations being social getting benefits from friends are all gonna kick up on the 10th that's always positive think about what you really hope and wish for because Jupiter there can help you get it um, and he's going direct on the 10th so it looks like a really awesome month. There's definitely a lot of transformation this month, a lot, especially with the eclipses happening. Um, but aside from that, there's going to be more to come this year. We're in eclipse season, so don't get stuck on anything too long. There's a lot of transformation that's going to be happening. But the most positive news is Jupiter's direct motion, positive luck, abundance and stuff opening back up again. Um, and then we'll have Saturn go direct in September, but we'll talk more about that. Um, when the time comes. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to leave your comments. I love to hear from you guys. If you'd like your own personal forecast or astro coaching or to learn more about astrology or to learn astrology in itself, 
I have a multitude of different classes I offer. You can visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Otherwise, I will see you guys back in August 2018. Also, if you're interested in anything else that I've uh, put out here on YouTube, if you found me on YouTube, check out my playlist. I got a lot of stuff there. Um, and I will see you guys in August. Thanks again. Have a great July 2018.